This is Audi's B9 generation S4. It's actually the fourth S4 model, still a three litre V6, but this time it is turbocharged, not supercharged. And for the first time on a V6 in the world, as far as we know, the turbocharger sits inside the V, like it does on Audi's turbo V8 models. It's a twin scroll turbo, 260 kilowatts, 500 newton metres, 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds. It also is no longer a dual clutch. It has an eight speed torque converter automatic, giving a shorter first gear and a taller eighth to make it more efficient and faster. So besides the all new MLB platform that this new S4 rides on, the biggest change is in the drivetrain. The engine has gone from a supercharged to a turbocharged, as we mentioned, but it's probably about the response of it and the sound. It uh, has eight gears instead of seven, so a shorter first, a taller eighth, definitely more efficient. I don't think it can match the snarl of the old engine. I really kind of miss some of that induction noise. It definitely has the exhaust. We'll just um, give it a go here and I don't know whether you can hear the blurting. Um, also, that sensitivity on the throttle, that, with that little jolt coming off in sport mode, it's really quite abrupt, yet in drive it's sort of doughy and needs a bit more throttle, makes it feel a bit laggier than the engine actually is. Um, probably done by marketing, via marketing for engineering, to make it more difference between drive and sport, but, you know, the dynamic steering's really sharp, uh, once into a corner you can feel the weighting vary but it really does make the car feel agile you can feel the drive to the rear end and you can feel it splitting the torque from either side of the rear wheels to really get that sort of tuck in and drive out of it it does take a while to get used to it and to be really smooth with it because it is really responsive you just kind of wish that the engine had a bit more induction noise a bit more meat to back up that kind of agility but it definitely bodes well for the RS Now, as per usual with a launch car, these S4s are very highly specced. Matrix LED headlights, 19s, adaptive dampers, dynamic steering, sport rear differential, S sport seats, you name it. Of all of the things that this car has, most of them will be standard in Australia when it goes on sale in September 2016. For roughly the same price of what the car starts at now, which is 106,000. So you'd imagine, say, 110, probably with a virtual cockpit, but it won't have the sport diff, the steering, or the trick seats, or actually those amazing headlights as standard. Um, as a car, it's not a balls out performance car. It's an S4, not an RS, and S is meant to mean sport, but it's probably more suave when you think about it. Uh, subtly understated, an athlete in a suit like Audi wants you to think it is, um, yet with enough garnish to impress the Joneses. <laughs> 